everyone, it's Evan. This is another JKSK video, and today we're going to be learning about simple subtraction. Now, in the last video, which had two parts for very for a very weird reason, we learned how to add stuff up to 20. And today, we're going to learn how to subtract like from 20 all the way down to 0. But we're like we're going to move very fairly slowly through that. We're gonna move fairly slowly like, to get up to twenty. So we're gonna start with some very simple ones. For the first one, we have five circles, and you get rid of two of them. Basically, you you're crossing out two, and now you count the remaining ones. One, two, three. You have three circles left. And you can prove that with fingers too. If you have five fingers and you take away two of them, one, two, you have three fingers left. He has one, two, three. We'll do another example. And like just like we did in the last video a bit later, like we showed you the I showed you the form that it's going to be in, like, gang and terrible, like, grades. Like, 5 plus 3, for example. So I'm going to put it into that form, again, for subtraction. Like, I know it's a little bit quick, but, like, I'll still use pictures in some of the examples, but I really need you guys, like, to get used to seeing it that way. Okay? So, if you have 7 of something, and you get rid of 6 of them, again... We can use circles. We're going to subtract. We'll use squares. So if you have seven squares, seven squares, and you want to get rid of six of them, well, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, Six. We've gotten rid of six squares, so now we just count how many are left. One. Oh, that's it. And you can use fingers again. So if you have seven fingers and you get rid of six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. You have one finger left. And even if you're to count, just one. So we've only gone basically up to seven and now we're gonna go to ten as the biggest number so ten minus four so if you have ten triangles ten triangles and you want to get rid of four of them well we'll cross four of them out one two three, four. You can count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six triangles left. And I forgot to do this at the very beginning of the video, but the definition of subtraction. When you, when you have two numbers that are being subtracted from each other, so basically you're taking away, say, in the examples you've seen. Right, in the last one, ten minus four. You add ten things and you took away four of them. So if you had like ten toys and three of them got stolen, you would have seven toys left over. Not that your toys would want that not that you would want your toys to be stolen. That would be very bad. And I'm sure you'd be very upset. I know I'd be very upset if any of my toys got stolen. But anyways, moving on. So we've got we've got examples up to ten. Now we're going to boost it up some numbers and move up to 20 as the maximum. So, we'll go to 17 in this one. 17 minus 11. This is a bit more of a challenge one. So, there's a trick for this one. You can see, if you were to write numbers, like up until 15, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
Now you might be thinking, what does the numbers 1 to 15 have to do with anything? Well, if you were to look, 11 falls just before 10, and we can subtract 1 to get to it. So if we were to subtract 1, it would be subtract 10, but that means we have to add 1 to 17, so it would be 18 minus 10. And we all know how to, we should all know how to subtract 10 from anything. So you have 18 things and you subtract 10 from them. So we will use squares for this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 squares and you're going to get rid of 10 of them. Again, we can cross out 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we've gotten rid of 10 of them. So now we can count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ta-da! That is that example. Now we're going to do a couple more examples. And then we're going to do a couple challenging one, challenging ones. And if you don't feel ready for the challenging ones, like go back to the simple examples and watch them again until you get them. Because I don't want you to go into the challenge exampling going, uh-oh, I still don't really know how to do this. So if you need to, rewind the video, watch it over if you need to. I'm just trying to help you out. Who now? I'm going to do two more examples, easier ones, and then we're going to go into a harder, one, a couple harder ones. So, if we have 20 bucks, we'll say, I can't draw 10, I can draw 20 pucks, but that would take a while. And in a game, you start with, so I'll briefly say this. In the game, you start with 20 pucks, and seven of them go out of play, we'll say. How, and the question is, how many pucks do you have left? In other words, the equation, which is two numbers, where you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, any of those, so that's basically what equation means. It means something entirely different in algebra, but... You don't even cover algebra in JKSK, so you don't have to worry about that. In fact, for this channel, we don't cover it until grade 3, so you don't have to worry about that until grade 3. So, back to what I was saying. You start with 20 pucks and 7 of them go out of play. You have 1, so guess I am going to end up drawing... 20 pucks, it'll be just a treat, he said sarcastically. This may take a minute. very bad at drawing, plus I'm kind of rushing it because I don't want to waste anyone's time. So then we have 20 pucks and we're getting rid of 7 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's count how many we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 pucks left. And that is the answer for that one. One more example before we get into harder ones. Harder ones. So this very last easier example is going to be 11 minus 2. So, we'll use hockey. If... You have 
that start, I can't, if you start a game with 11 hockey sticks, so 11 hockey sticks, I'll draw that as I'm explaining, and you break two of them in during the game. And the question is, how many sticks do you break throughout the game? I'll repeat that again. How many sticks do you break in the game? And basically, the equation is 11 minus 2. So I've drawn 10 of them. I'll draw my last hockey stick. So you, so you have 11 hockey sticks here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're going to cross out two of them because two of them get broken. One, two. Now let's count how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine hockey sticks remaining. So we've done some easier examples and now we're going to do two harder ones and that is going to be it for today after these two hard examples. So the first one is 56 minus 23. And often you're gonna see stuff written like this. That's another thing that will get introduced to you in early grades, but that's when you have like bigger numbers. And the second one is 31 minus 23. Yeah, turns out I put one in that borrowings have to be done on. We're not gonna talk about borrowing, so I'm gonna change this example to 34 minus eight. 34 minus 12, that works out. Or we can do 73 minus 12. There, that works out. It's 56 minus three. You might be thinking, oh! we have a bunch of stuff to do this is going to be really hard but really you can focus at one column that's what we call these a right? place value will get introduced to you in another video but basically the, there's place value like there's a decimal point here you'll learn about that in grades basically this is the ones place this is the tens place and then there's the hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions and on the other side there's tens hundreds thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and so on and so on and so on, but we won't continue. So we can focus on the ones for now. Six minus three. We all know exactly what that is. So you have six fingers and you get rid of three of them. One, two, three. You how many fingers do you have left? You have three fingers left. So that's the answer for this one. Three. We still have the five minus two left. Again, you can use fingers. Five fingers and get rid of two of them. One, two. Two fingers left. I mean, three fingers left. So the answer to this one is 33. Now, let's look at the other one. Again, you can use that strategy. The first column, three minus two. Three fingers minus two fingers, one, two. You have one finger left for this one. Seven fingers, and you get rid of one finger. One, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six fingers left. So the answer is 61. Those were the two challenge ones. If you don't get it, so rewatch the video. But that's going to be all for today. Peace out.